Hey guys, Dan here from BeyondSims.com and I'm here today with a review for the Business As Usual Bistro Store Set. Now before I begin the overview and my opinions on this, I just want to warn you that my window is open, it is really warm so you may hear people shouting outside or you may hear a car drive past and I can't do much about that so I'm really sorry about that. Now, uh, the Business As Usual Bistro set was released a few days ago as of recording this on the Sims 3 store and I was extremely excited because I love the Sims 2 Open for Business and this allows you to have a fully functional restaurant so I was extremely excited uh, so I bought it, I don't have much money in my bank now but I bought it and the venue ha is placed in my world right here so you can see it right here the venue is absolutely gorgeous it's really modern and I love how it looks um, I especially love all the glass windows <clears throat> and how they've done this right here it's really unique now if we go into this venue it acts as a restaurant so we've got tables around here and there are menus placed on there which is what you interact with to place an order so it's premium content um, is, is what you could view it as um, and it comes with 15 items in total so you get the new venue you get a premium content which is the industrial oven which a chef will use uh, you get a few items of clothing a few hats counter uh, a food processor, sink, fridge, um, kitchen utensil, thingamajiggy, which acts as a light, it seems. Does it? Or is that just... Oh, it seems to. Okay, that's quite cool. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of my sims to come here. Uh, the person you see here is actually someone that was created during one of my live streams by people watching the show so if you were in that live stream here she is again the girl with the blue hair now our sims are just going to travel down to the new bistro and we are going to put our business management skills into action now the features kind of remind me of the new features in island paradise uh, where you get to manage resort it, it does remind me of that go away sims mascot so if I go to the industrial oven which is the object right here I can actually control a lot of what goes on so first things first we're going to hire a chef so the new chef will start on the next shift and here is our new chef and then from there they'll start cooking food start getting things ready um, for us to use so we can set the food quality so we can have a line cook, a sous chef or an executive chef. So I think for this one we're going to have a nice executive mm -hmm. chef. And that's the wages they're giving them. So that's the quality of the chef so that will affect the food quality I presume. You can also control the hours you'd like the lot to be open so you can have a, a overnight restaurant you can have a 3 p.m. to 11 a.m. one so you can you have, you have plenty of control over the business I'm just going to turn down a few things here so you don't hear them too much so we can also set the menu and there is every single recipe possible here you can have it all so if we wanted autumn salad a cheese danish a grilled cheese grasshopper pie mushroom omelette, pancakes, tofu dogs, some salmon and that's all we want in this restaurant that is exactly what we can have and we had the control over that because that how much the food actually costs um, so it's currently at 100% and you can decide the pricing now one reason I absolutely love this is because you have control over the lot and so it reminds you of open for business and it's not a rabbit hole. The bistro you get down in the base game is a rabbit hole. You can't see inside. And that was the biggest disappointment ever. 
I definitely think with The Sims 4 they need to open the rabbit holes back up in community lots, such as the stores, and maybe have a functioning restaurant like this, because it will give us so many more things to do. Definitely keep me more hooked. Now, oh, our chef's getting ready with the food. Let's go in and see. If, let's go in and we'll place an order, and we'll order some salmon. And you come down and order some cheese Danish. Come on, Madison. So this menu item allows you, like I said earlier, to order. And the chef, I was hoping there would be like a waiter or waitress or something like that, but the chef does it all. So Narissa will come out and take our order. There we go. So now she will go and work her magic. What is that noise upstairs? Oh, it's you. While we're up here, this is the upstairs of the new venue, so it's really well designed. Uh, so it's like a kitcheny bar area where you can hang out. Um, it's, it's mainly like a chill out area, is what I'd view it as, and also toilets, so your sims don't end up peeing themselves. Which, as entertaining as that can be, I don't think they'd enjoy that, will they? Okay, so Narissa is cooking the food, it goes down to the bottom. And I'm hoping this is going to be some good food. Come on. And there's her cheese Danish and the salmon. And it's excellent quality. So you could send your sims here every day and they could eat here as much as they like. Now what I'm going to do you can. Nope, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back to my home lot. Sorry about that. I was hoping that would let me have control over the lot. This will. So, in buy mode here, we can see some of the new items that come. You get this new counter. I believe it's a new counter. Yes, it is. You, you get this kitchen at counter island right here and these lights seem and it's changed colour now that I've moved it hmm I'm presuming you've just ex looks like you've just experienced a glitch hmm anyway there's also this new sink the professional series commercial sink of course the oven the light which looks like kitchen utensils and this new refrigerator which I really like <laughs> I really like that and um, there's also oh, the uh, another commercial oven right here you probably just heard a car go past then see what I mean everyone's so noisy be quiet I'm recording there we go <laughs> I'll probably get someone like, knocking on my door now <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So that's some of the items. So I'm going to go into Create a Sim and show you some of the stuff that we can get. As you can see, I'm also using testing cheats to throughout this video to show it off to you. Now, men, I believe, get some new hats. Where are you? Come on. Load. Come on, Sims 3. You can do it. Okay, here's one of the new hats. Which you can wear. This is the classic chef hat. Um, so it allows you to look the part. If you like. I've not seen a chef wearing a hat like that before. But I won't question here's another one this is the oh I can't even pronounce what it's called we'll just call it chef hat tepan tepanyaki tepanyaki oh yeah I can I cannot pronounce things <laughs> I'm terrible and it also got a cool little sushi one there as well I like that 
And then this is the final one. Um, this is the Sushi Chef Mesh Hat. So depending on what you want your sims to look like, that is what you can dress them in. Um, I don't think the men get an outfit. No, yes they do. I'm checking the store page while I'm doing this just to make sure I cover everything because in the past um, when I've been doing things there's stuff that I keep, I just forget to, to, to mention. Now, come on. Where is this? I should have really just removed every single thing I had installed and just installed this set for the sake of this video. It might have loaded a bit faster, but you trial and error, that will happen in the next video. And now I'm hoping it will hurry up and load so I can show you the chef's outfit. Come on. That's not the chef's outfit. That's not it either. Nope. 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 Yes. 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 Okay, this is the male chef outfit that comes with it. Um, you can go into create a style, you can change it, you can make it white, you can, you know, change the trouser colours, let's make them hot pink, you can make that green, uh, where's the black bit? Oh, oh these the buttons, I'm guessing. Yeah, make the buttons, choose all that. So, he looks amazing. And that is the stuff you get with a male sim in the game. And now we're going to go into create a sim with Madison Twain. And we are going to decide what she is going to wear. So women get two new outfits. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find them in the clothing selection. It's loading a bit slower than it usually does. Probably because I'm recording at the same time, so it's struggling along. It's got to load everything and from all the expansions as well. See it just there stuttering along. <laughs> now I wish this would hurry up actually, because this, you know, this, you're wasting valuable time. We're wasting it here. We, we could be diving in more into um, overview but if the sim 3 would behave we'd be able to come on I think I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry if this keeps up I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a full-on breakdown in this video if this doesn't hurry up I mean no one wants to see me having a breakdown here this is just no. Come on. Come on. Okay, you're going to let me find the outfit now, game? Please. Pretty please. Another car. I thought I told him to be quiet. Clearly, he didn't hear me when I shouted out the window. Okay, so here's the first outfit you get. Now this is the uh, female chef wrap. So, oh gosh, I don't think pink high heels are the are best for this outfit. But hey, you know, why not? I'm looking through here for it all. I wish there was like a way we could organise it set by set so custom content and store content didn't keep popping up all over the place. Next time I'm going to dress sims up ready in the clothing so I'm not raiding through it and create a sim. That was my original plan. Oh, looks like I can't find it. So it's store content. Come on. I've probably gone right past it, haven't I? 
Or is it the same? Oh no. Yeah, there are two. Come on. Okay guys, I quickly cut the video there while I searched for it, and here it is. Uh, this is the other outfit you get. This is the another professional female chef outfit. They could have been a bit more imaginative with the names. But I think overall the clothing you get with this is very decent. So you get 15 items in total. So I've shown you the furniture. I've shown you the, the venue. I've shown you the new premium content item which is the um, time for business um, industrial oven. It's business time even, not time for business. And the venue itself looks amazing still. I, it's, it's no other way to describe it apart from amazing. Um, it looks modern. It's something different. And it's going to be a great addition to any Sims game. And especially if they enjoy the whole business thing. I think this will really top it off. Um, like a, If you've got Island Paradise, I think this will really top off a re any resort. So there's another thing you can do here. You can actually place this in your home. So we're going to quickly try this out here. Because if what I'm trying out here actually works, you will be able to have your own home chef. Which I think is pretty awesome. So we'll put the oven there. And we will hire a chef. So the food quality is excellent. And we can now have our own chef, our own house. So the chef's there preparing all the food for the restaurant. And once they've prepared it, we'll be able to place an order. I believe. I hope. And you can have your own chef at your house, making you food all the time. It comes with a price, but if you, you're a busy sim or a lazy sim, and you want excellent food all the time without having to get the skill, you can, even, you can also do that. I really like that. I do like that. That is a, um, <laughs> as odd as it may look to some neighbours, that is a great idea. So my overall impressions of this set is it's great uh... it's a push in the right direction because i've been waiting for you know business stuff and they're starting to open rabbit holes um, as i always say with store content I, I always wish it could have somehow been integrated into an expansion pack or something because i feel this would have really topped off resorts if they had open restaurants as well that really would have topped off the resort and i can't believe it wasn't in there but as a store set i think it's really good um, it's exciting and different. Um, it also allows a lot more gameplay functionality because you can place it into any lot you like. You can build your own restaurant now. Design it how you want, place down the menus, place down the oven, and you've got an open restaurant. So I'll probably be messing around trying to like remake some of the big restaurants we had in like, The Sims Hot Day and things like that because they were just fantastic. Um, Clothing wise as well, you know, for a change, men actually get more stuff than women. Um, usually the theme is that um, female, you know, sims, female sims tend to get more clothing and more hairstyles, but the men have got more hats and a piece of clothing, so men in total have four new things, whereas female sims have two. Um, the furniture itself, things like the food processor, lights, the sink, the fridge, you already have them in some way or another so just kind of reskinned same functionality but still it's a different design and allows you to have something new and different in the game so I will I would highly recommend this if you have the money at the time of recording it is actually on sale nope it was on sale for 1600 sim points it is now actually 1900 sim points it seems to have maybe only been like a few day thing usually the sales are for about a month so if you have 1900 sim points around which is so you'd have to buy a 2000 sim point bundle which is 12 pound or 20 dollars i believe um then i w if you have that if you have those sim points around and the money to spare then I highly recommend getting this set um, you know if you don't have the money this isn't a set you desperately need uh, but if you are interested and you 
like the idea of having an open restaurant um, which adds new gameplay possibilities and things just seems to do then go get it why are you watching this go get it now go on I'll, I'll give you a second just to type in the store.thesims3.com into your browser go on I won't mind Oh, he's still here. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I hope it was informative in some way or another, minus all the little hitches we had trying to find clothing and all that. Um, please leave a comment letting me know what you liked, what you disliked. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to improve my videos in any way possible. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon in our Let's Play and future overview videos. See you soon.